everyone. Today we are going to talk about nouns and pronouns. You might have heard in English grammar that this is the noun in the sentence, this is the pronoun in the sentence. So what are nouns and what are pronouns? I know these are purely basics of English you might have studied in your school. But it is also important to revise it so that the other fundamentals are clear for you. So a noun is a name of person, place, thing or anything. Suppose I do she. Right? It is my name. So that is a noun. Right? Suppose if I say that I am going to Delhi. So in this sentence, Delhi is the noun because it is the name of the place. Right? So underline the nouns in the sentence below. A teacher handed out the papers. So teacher, right? It is the name of the person. Fine. And handed out the papers. It is a thing. Name, person, place, thing, those are things are known as noun. So, paper is also a noun here. So, what are the different types of noun? Uh, there are, there is a common noun, proper noun, singular noun, plural noun, compound noun, collective noun, abstract noun and concrete noun. So, what is a common noun? A common noun means any person, place or thing or idea. Right? So, a common noun is, suppose if I say I am going to a, a a place which is very extraordinary when I am talking like this in a sentence that I am going to a place which is extraordinary but I have not specified the name of the place right suppose if I say I am going to Delhi then I have specified the noun right Delhi I have, I have specified the name of the place so that is proper noun when I am talking in general that I am going to a place which is extraordinary that is that in that place is the is the common noun and when I am saying that I am going to Delhi, so Delhi is a specific place as when I am talking about a specific person that Ayushi is going to Delhi. Then Ayushi and Delhi both are proper nouns because we are talking about specific place and specific person there. A singular noun. A singular noun names one person, place or thing. Suppose one apple, if I am talking about that I eat apple every day, right? So, I am talking about I eat one apple every day, then it will be numbering it. But if I am talking in singular form, right, one thing, one person, then it is a singular noun. What is a plural noun when you are talking about bunch of things, more than one thing? For example, apples, right? Apple is a singular noun and when I say apple, then it is a plural noun when you are talking about uh, more than one apple, right? Concrete noun. Concrete noun names uh, something that can be identified through one of the senses, right? So, like taste, smell, through which you can identify something that is concrete noun. Abstract noun it names a quality or idea that cannot be seen, felt, taste, tested, heard, or smelled, right? So, that is abstract noun, a quality which cannot be felt, heard, tested, or smelled, right? So now what is collective noun? Collective noun is name or uh, name of group or collection of people, animal or things together. Right? When there are too many pencils and I name it, right? Then it is known as collective noun. A herd of animals, right? That is collective noun. When two or uh, when bunch of animals are traveling together and I want to depict it in form of sentence, then I say a herd of ship, right? So that will be a collective noun. A bound noun is a noun made up of two or more words, for example, hometown, ice cream, mother-in-law, right? So, there are two words which are joined together, that's why it is known as a compound noun. Now, what do you mean? Now, what do you mean by pronoun? So, pronoun are the words that take the place of nouns. For example, there are different types of pronouns here. Personal pronouns refer to a specific person, right? Right, for example, Douglas read story. He likes fairy tales. So here in he, they are specifying a particular person named Douglas, right? So that's a personal pronoun. The word he is a personal pronoun that refers to Douglas, right? Now, subject pronoun. Subject pronouns are often at the beginning of the sentence. He and I had a fight. So this sentence has two subjects because he and I both were involved in fight. So that these are subject pronouns because both of them are subject. And I. Now, demonstrative pronoun. These pronouns are used to demonstrate. This, that, these, those are all demonstrative pronouns. They demonstrate things. 
and the finite pronoun. These pronouns do stand for some person or thing, but we don't know for exactly who. Like if I say that someone, everybody, right? These are all indefinite pronouns because we don't know what uh, to whom we are addressing, right? Who is an general? So that is an indefinite pronoun. So we have learned about different kind of pronouns and nouns which are used in sentence. I hope you have got what are nouns and pronouns and how we have to use them 